At its weekly press conference, Party Kadilan Rakyat's Vice President Sivaratha Rasaya said the war against bloggers declared by the government is politically motivated and was an attempt to silence critics in face of the impending general elections. Kami menganggap ugutan, ugutan ini dari uh, Menteri Datuk Muhammad Azri, uh, juga timbalan Perdana Menteri dan sebagainya untuk menggunakan ISA, Akta Hasusan Hasutan dan juga uh, Penal Code terhadap bloggers ini adalah berniat politik ya, that means politically motivated ya. berniat politik dengan tujuan untuk menghalang kritikan atau dissent ya, pendapat berlainan ya, terhadap AMNO dan Barisan Nasional sebelum pilihan raya umum ya, yang nampaknya terdekat ya Referring to the recent police report against Raja Petra Kamaluddin of online news site Malaysia Today by AMNO Information Chief Mohamad Mohamad Tai, Sivaratha said the report failed to identify the offending article or comment. Kami perhatikan bahawa setakat sekarang dia gagal mengenal pasti manakah rencana atau artikel yang katakan ditulis oleh Raja Petra. Jadi kami melihat tuduhan ini dibuat dengan dengan apa ni? Uh, saya gunakan uh, istilah the loud talk uh, ada cakap yang kuat tapi bila kita tanya manakah rencana ini kami masih belum perhatikan he said that harassment such as this puts malaysia in a bad light internationally especially when the country has given a guarantee that the internet will not be censored kadilan menganggap ugutan macam ini uh, tidak bertanggungjawab uh, it's irresponsible sebab ini akan akan dan telah ini telah dan akan terus mencemarkan imej negara kita di arena antarabangsa sebab ruang internet ini adalah adalah satu ruang istimewa dan pemerintahan negara ini telah memberi macam jaminan dulu bahawa pe, uh, ruang ini tidak akan di uh, disekat freedom of the internet will not be will not be compromised inilah Jaminan yang dikatakan yang diberikan dulu Tapi kami melihat sekarang Ugutan ini akan mencemar imej imej negara kita Having said that, Sivarasa went on to say that Although there is no absolute freedom Certain guidelines can be observed Kadilan is not saying you know, that there must be absolute freedom of expression Yeah, Nobody can say there is abs- there's absolute freedom That we all accept So we, we don't want uh, people to misunderstand our position Whether in the internet or outside the internet. Absolute freedom does not exist. Yeah? But it's still very important to make sure that freedom of expression yeah. must function. Therefore, you can you can have what we call reasonable limits to freedom of expression. What limit can we put? Where, for example, there is what we call incitement to racial or religious hatred or incitement to racial or religious violence, you know, clear words where you incite people to hatred or violence that is where you draw the line tapi selain daripada itu kadilan menganggap perbahasan yang kadang-kadang ada ada kata-kata like in english people say mocking words you know or even uh, even uh, rude rude language sometimes this you have to tolerate yeah inilah perbahasan biasa dalam ruang umum this is normal public discourse so if you are upset about that kind of language what you do, you reply to it, you debate it, you can even uh, mock it, you can ridicule it by way, by way of reply. Tapi, you cannot gunakan, you, you, we cannot use threats of arrest and detention. That is what Kadilan objects to, uh, Rocky Blue and Jeff Uy. But we also want to make it clear, we do not support the use of such civil suits to control or limit public discussion on issues of public interest. We don't accept that. Because that is an abuse of the, of the libel suit as well. Yeah. If somebody makes a, a personal, uh, personally motivated, malicious remarks about some individual, yeah, that are false, then that person should sue in, uh, in, as a libel suit. That we have no problem. But if you start using libel suits to control a discussion of public interest about matters of, of public interest, 
even where you are talking negatively about somebody, then that is an abuse of, of, a, of a libel suit. Okay? And Kadilan says, you deal with these things by way of a right of reply, not, not by libel suits, not by arrest and detention. Finally, Kadilan wants to say here that the, the laws that were brought up by uh, Datu Nazri, such as the Penal Code provisions, the Sedition Act, uh, the, the Printing Presses and Pro uh, Publications Act, we consider these laws as uh, violating freedom of expression. Yeah? Kadiran is committed to repeal these laws. And if we are mandated to run this government, that is our first act within 100 days of us running the government. We will repeal these laws. And not only will we re repeal these laws, we will bring in a freedom of information legislation to ensure that citizens are able to access information about the way the government is run. Kadiran is committed to that, to an open and transparent government. Yeah? Okay. Okay, terima kasih kepada saudara Sirasa. Ya, uh, sebelum kita buka kepada soal, uh, soal, 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 soal sesi jawab, uh, ya kita akan uh, uh, tunjukkan ini lah sebagai sokongan Parti Kadiran Rakyat uh, untuk untuk uh, penyokong ya kempen tanda tangan postcard yang dilancarkan oleh Tong Jiao Zhong uh, bersama Ready. dengan uh, pertubuhan pertubuhan lain. Ya. Jadi uh, postcard ini sudah dilancarkan pada 8 Julai di College New Era Kajang. Jadi uh, sekarang ini kalian sudah uh, kita sudah uh, mengedarkan ya sekurang-kurangnya 5,000 keping ya, di beberapa negeri dan dijangka ya, kita akan perbanyakkan lagi ya postcard ini untuk diedarkan ke ke. Oh, saya, saya. Okay. Can see everybody.